Hello, my friends, and welcome to the True. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? No doubt in the world we live in today, it is full of conflict and war. From homes to countries around the world, we read and hear about conflict and war. It's exhausting, to be honest, and heartbreaking. The world around us is full of people who are seeking peace. The difficulty is that conflicts and wars seldom lead to real peace. And the peace that is agreed upon by the parties involved, it does not last. This week, we're going to dig in and chew on the peace of God. We had three points this week. Inner peace, the way of Jesus. Trust Jesus and obedience to Jesus. Before we read these found, this foundational passage found in Philippians 4, I want to share with you a quote that I read while preparing for the message that I preached yesterday. Thomas Merton, a Trappist monk and writer, wrote this. We are not at peace with others because we are not at peace with ourselves. We are not at peace with ourselves because we are not at peace with God. I just love how he runs us to the root of the problem. The trouble is, true peace, lasting peace, is only found in God through Jesus Christ. Now, with that in mind, turn with me to Philippians chapter 4. We'll read verses 4 through 9. Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say thanks be unto God? Amen. Questions for today. What do I see in this passage concerning the peace of God? What do I need to do about the peace of God? What can I expect related to the peace of God? Am I listening to the Holy Spirit right now for today? And am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or am I going to choose my own way? Now, I'm praying for us. Let's read this passage a few times. But before we do, let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. Let's have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths. And then let's take that step of faith today towards the peace of God with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.